left wing is as left wing does. Deaf wing is as deaf wing does. West wing is as west wing does. All or if you hear me, folks. <laughs> it's the least you can do. Look, if you have fallen to the state, okay, you've you've regressed to the state rather, where you are pink washing for NATO, you need to get some help. You need to seek help. I don't know if it's taking medication. I don't know if it's group therapy. I don't know if it's individual therapy. But this ain't it, champ. Gay marriage is non-negotiable and a freaking NATO symbol. Are you out of your rabid-ass mind? In what world is gay marriage non-negotiable for NATO in the first place? And in the second place, what is NATO if not for an imperialist military alliance? that at the very least wants to carve up Russia, balkanize China, and subjugate the global south. Are you getting it? Maybe not. <laughs> now look, I'm just going to read to you some of the responses from the crowd because some of the times they can just freaking drop the people's elbow. That's the best. That's the best when people swarm and dogpile and they're correct can't be beat. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do for you, pal. You did this to yourself. <laughs> Look, something like this is really as simple as an assertion without evidence can be dismissed without evidence. You know, you, you can apply Occam's razor to why he's doing this. You know, the, the easiest explanation is he's trying to get some engagement. Okay. That, that's probably the easiest explanation, but he is. He has been on a tear, whitewashing, foreign, or pinkwashing, rather, on behalf of NATO. Like, seriously. So, you make an extraordinary claim like this, it's going to require some extraordinary evidence. And I have a feeling these folks have evidence to the contrary, my friend. <laughs> now, look, here's some good news. Slovenia legalizes gay marriage despite population voting against it three times. Good. Fuck them. <laughs> you have no right to deny consenting adults marriage. Well, if it was along the lines of race, would we accept it? We'd be like, well, I guess just the, the majority wants it. Yeah, some things aren't up for the grabs whether the majority wants it or not. You have to have like a super majority, a super duper friggin' majority for some things to fly. And you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> and he posts this in response. Uh, <laughs> Gay marriage is non-negotiable in the NATO symbol. And the responses are priceless. Check it out. Nemo Literum says, It's very ne negotiable in half of your Nazi puppet states. And if you, are un if you are unaware of the link between Nazis and NATO, go ahead and check it out. There's a lot of freaking material there, pal. There's a lot of material from liberals and to the left. Moderates and to the left. Conservatives and to the left. It's not just progressives and socialists. <laughs> puppy girl puppy girl says to several nato countries it sure is negotiable <laughs> nice ad placement elon somebody should really tell that to nato says single payer or bust i like your name <laughs> bonnie po bonnie posts a map with all the countries that it's still prohibited in and most of them are NATO countries. One of them's Russia. One of them's Ukraine. Look, Russia and Ukraine are both really reactionary, so it shouldn't really surprise me. Here's what flag represents you. What your flag represents, you imperialists, and they have a bunch of pictures of war crimes done by NATO. 
<laughs> these ass says most NATO members haven't legalized same sex unions. And here we go. Tommy Nazan says Albania, Bulgaria, Cro Croatia, the Czech Republic, Greece, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Montenegro, North Macedonia, Romania, Slovakia, Turkey, Hungary, and Poland. All countries without legalized gay marriage. I mean, even the United States has it on the books, not just the, you know, the, what was that, the Supreme Court ruling in 2015. It's like actually on the books now. Oh, I think Biden did it in the same bill where he signed two bills at once. One was for gay marriage. One was for interracial marriage. Interracial marriage was not on the books in the United States until when? 2022, 2023, absolutely outrageous. I mean, stop dragging your feet, you fucking knuckle dragger. Seriously, or, you know, aren't you dragging? You're you're dragging those already. That's enough friction. Turkey, Poland. I feel like this is very easy and a quick Google. Yeah. Something he would not ever think to do. Isn't he one of these guys that supports what uh, the United States is doing in Taiwan? Bro, come on. You must be out your rabbit ass mind once more. After what Japan did just 80 some years ago, and really what they did in China, they killed about 20 million people in China, you have to understand why the militarization of China has people feeling some sort of way. It's not, or excuse me, militarization of Japan has people in China feeling some sort of way. And not just in China, also in South Korea, one of our big allies there that we're also occupying. Uh, North Korea, no doubt about it. Look, all of these places were occupied and brutalized by Japan. Uh, Taiwan is seen as a wedge issue. Okay, they're trying to use it as one more way to balkanize China. Taiwan, Tibet, Xinjiang, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, which was colonized by capitalists until the late 90s. I mean, seriously, guys, you got to get your freaking shit together. You can't be backing up these goofballs. You can't be backing up NATO or their Pacific Ocean equivalent, okay, of which we're at the head, as, uh, head of as well. You got to bring the troops home from these places, okay? Think about what we could do with that time, energy, space, and money. Oh, boy. Scientific and utopic. Guys, I'm going to leave it at that. You know what's up.